359 million Instagram followers, world's youngest billionaire, proud owner of a $77 million property empire, paid millions of dollars to endorse diet culture and makeup, sister of the infamous Kim Kardashian and clan. Heck, Kylie even has an entire room dedicated to housing just her handbags, with everything from Hermes to Chanel to Louis Vuitton. Her handbag collection alone would be worth millions. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my little mini series on Kylie Jenner. This was originally gonna be one video, but I realized it was gonna be like two hours long. No, don't like that. This is the sad life of Kylie Jenner. And in next week's video, we will discuss the tragic transformation of Kylie's physical appearance. So guys, from that intro, it's pretty clear that there is a lot to be jealous of when it comes to Kylie Jenner. Remember what we do in this channel? We humanize people. Because for all her fame and privilege, that's all Kylie is, a human, with her own struggles, her own issues, her own personal demons. And being aware of this and seeing behind the highlight reel of social media will make you see Kylie in a whole different light. So who is Kylie Jenner. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born on the 10th of August 1997 to Chris and Caitlyn Jenner. Little Kylie Jenner lived a relatively normal life until 2017 when she was thrust into the spotlight alongside the rest of her family when their reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians hit the screens. Growing up on TV might seem like a dream to some, but unlike other child actors who were playing a character and get paid for it, child reality stars are portraying themselves and their real lives for millions of strangers to watch and give their opinion on and criticize. Kylie herself now says, growing up in the spotlight with a million eyes on you just isn't normal. Kylie also revealed that growing up behind the camera of such a high profile reality TV show has left her feeling like she has lost her youth. Even as far back as 2015, Kylie was already telling people how she felt about it. In this chat with Interview Magazine, she states that she looks back and thinks, damn, I wish I could have just been a kid and done normal teenage stuff that my friends get to do. And boy, do I see that. Do you guys remember the scene in Keeping Up With The Kardashians where Kendall and Kylie are really young, like they are literal children. And they are running around a pole dancing stripper pole that is for some reason in their house, performing moves on it and making a video of their version of Girls Gone Wild. I know people probably laugh about it and it's all meant to be in good fun, but that's not right. Children should not know about that stuff. Little girls should not know what Girls Gone Wild is. makes me think, did those girls get a childhood at all? Really? Now, I just want to quickly pause this video and say a huge thank you to our sponsors, Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that delivers high quality vitamins, minerals, supplements, and powders to your door every month without you having to think about it. It can be really hard to know what vitamins and minerals you might be lacking in your diet or which supplements you might like to take. Care Of makes this so simple with the quiz provided on their website. It's a quick quiz designed to find out what supplements you would be best to take. So it asks you questions about your diet, lifestyle, your health goals and then it recommends the right vitamins and supplements for your specific needs and goals. So for me, for example, I already eat a super nourishing whole food diet, so I'm not really missing out on a lot. But what Care Of did recommend for me is magnesium, which I know I actually really do need more of. And on top of that, mushrooms, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm already absolutely obsessed with. Care Of sends me my supplements to my door in this gorgeous little package. So all I have to do is slip out my daily pack and I'm done. So easy, so cute, zero fuss. By the way, these packs are made from plant-based compostable packaging too. Also in this delivery, I got this little pack of probiotics, which were surprisingly delicious. They taste like strawberry sherbet. So if you're not sure what vitamins or minerals or supplements you should be taking or that you might like to take, head over to Care Of's website and do their little quiz. It'll be so eye-opening for you. And if you guys do take supplements and you are in the market to try out something new, Care Of are also really kindly offering my viewers 50% off their first order, which is huge. So if you do need to buy new supplements, new vitamins, definitely take advantage of that because 50% off, I mean, that's amazing. 
Then there is Kylie's battle with anxiety. We often think that celebrities and influencers are super happy living their ultra privileged rich lives and that they never feel down or anxious or depressed but that is so far from reality. Kylie's quite elusive and she doesn't usually open up about her feelings, but in this case, she did. She said, I wake up every morning with the worst anxiety. I don't know why. I have like a problem. I wake up every morning at seven or eight because I think there's a bad story about me and I have to check. My worst fear is waking up and finding something bad about me on the internet. What's so sad about that statement is that it seems that Kylie is really affected by negative press and negative comments online, which would be an anxious person's worst fear if they are as high a profile a celebrity and influencer. I mean, she's got over 300 million followers on Instagram. If you are so worried about what people say about you to the extent that you're waking up in the morning and your first thought is, oh my God, is there something bad about me on the internet today? That is so damaging. That must be so stressful. Kylie also sounds like she feels quite trapped in her celebrity status, revealing that due to her celebrity status, she feels like she's lost herself and can't reveal her true personality anymore because people judge her for it. I think that I showed my personality, like my true personality for so long on Vine and- Which that was like started, five years ago. I know, when I first started Instagram. Yeah. And then I just, as I got bigger and bigger, I just realized like, I don't know, when people used to say mean things about how I really am mm -hmm. and my personality and what I love the most about myself. It would hurt me more than like almost playing a character, like not showing people everything. So yeah, I just started like doing a little less. Mm -hmm. I Which hate is that. sad. Yeah, that is sad. sad. It makes me sad. And what's more, how is this for not being able to be yourself? Despite owning a multi-million dollar cosmetic company, Kylie doesn't even like wearing makeup <laughs> and admits that it's too heavy and bad for her skin. She wears it because that's what she thinks people want to see. And in fact, she goes so far as to basically put on an act for social media with showing off her glitzy lifestyle because she thinks that's what people expect of her and the version of her that they like. When in reality, she says that's not what she's into or what she's like in person at all. And I'm just like really genuinely happy right now. Then there's Kylie's very obvious insecurities surrounding her looks and potential envy of her sisters. There's no secret that Kylie has changed just about everything about her physical appearance from her lips to her eyes, to her hairline, to her body. And I can kind of see where her insecurities stemmed from when I watch old episodes of Keeping Up With Kardashians. I remember one episode that really stuck out at me and I've remembered it all these years later because I was so horrified. And honestly, I related so much to what I was watching. It was an episode where Kim and Kylie were both teenagers and Kendall made herself this little amateur modeling portfolio book with pictures of her modeling modeling. She came downstairs and showed her mum, Chris, this modeling portfolio that she'd made of herself and said she wanted to do modeling. Well, of course, Chris was like, you are absolutely beautiful. You're so tall. You'd be an amazing model. I'm going to get straight on the phone and get you a modeling contract. Kylie was clearly super, super jealous because she had apparently made it clear since she was a child that she also wanted to be a model. So Kylie in the episode goes upstairs and makes her own little book of pictures, her own little amateur modeling portfolio and brings it downstairs stairs to show her mum, obviously thinking that she's going to get the same reception that Kendall did. But that is not what happened. When she came downstairs with her book of pictures, her mum, Chris, refused to even look at it. She didn't even open it and look at one page. Instead, she just told Kylie off for not congratulating Kendall on her modeling contract that she'd gotten her that very same day. Poor Kylie felt so rejected and so upset that she literally threw the book at her mum and stormed out of the room. I remember watching that episode years ago and feeling so bad for Kylie because nobody would even open this book that she'd made. No one would even look at it. No one encouraged her dreams. No one told her that she was beautiful and model material. They basically completely ignored her and then told her off for not celebrating Kendall. And I relate to that so much because I know what it feels like to grow up as the ugly sister and what it feels like to feel like you're the odd one out in your family and like you don't really fit in. I feel like for Kylie in her family, she was kind of the one that was kind of forgotten about. And I feel like Kylie was kind of in the shadows as opposed to her other sisters like Kendall and Kim who were being actively encouraged to follow their dreams, who were constantly being told that they were successful and beautiful. And I feel like Kylie just wanted that for herself. 
And I understand that because Kylie is a Leo and I'm a Leo. We have the same birthday. So I understand wanting to feel like people care about you and wanting to have attention. I mean, it's just our star sign. And I do feel like that is a huge reason why Kylie seems to have kind of morphed her face and body and business into being more like Kim Kardashian than Kylie. Because nowadays, Kylie looks more like Kim Kardashian than she does Kylie. And I honestly do feel like Kylie is the odd one out in her family. And that is why she tries so hard to gain approval from them. And I'm not wrong because in June last year, in an interview with Andy Cohen, Kylie admitted that she doesn't really get along with the other members of her family and that she feels like the odd one out. She said she feels that she is not compatible with the rest of her family and that it's always them against her. And from watching old episodes of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, I can see that. Then moving on to the Forbes drama. <laughs> this is a doozy, you guys. When I was researching for this video, I was like, what the heck is going on there? It's like, I don't know how more drama channels didn't pick up on that. It's crazy. So after declaring Kylie the world's youngest self-made <laughs> billionaire ever, a title which Kylie seems to accept with glee, posing for the magazine in a range of seemingly powerful images and claiming that it's the power of social media. I had such a strong reach before I was able to start anything. Forbes has now dramatically removed Kylie from its list of billionaires, accusing Kylie and her family of creating a web of lies to deceive the publication and make out that her fortune was much more than it really was. And that in fact, Kylie was not a billionaire at all. The drama. Forbes claimed that white lies, omissions, and outright fabrications are to be expected from the family that perfected, then monetized, the concept of famous for being famous. Hush, oh my God, Forbes is taking no prisoners. And going even further by saying that Kylie went to great efforts to convince Forbes that her wealth was far greater than it actually was by not only inviting Forbes into her mansion and posing for photos, but that she even provided fraudulent tax returns to convince Forbes that she was richer than she was. Oh my god. Forbes subsequently removed Kylie from its list of billionaires with a scathing article that calls Kylie and her family liars. Forbes also went on to claim that Kylie had previously told them that her cosmetics company had $360 million in sales in 2018, but it turned out that her revenue was actually closer to only $125 million. A lot of money, yes, but still, that is a huge discrepancy, like almost half. That is a lot of money to embellish your sales by, put it that way. Now, Kylie Kylie was obviously humiliated when Forbes came out with their article revoking her billionaire title and calling her a liar. And she retaliated by going onto Twitter to say, what am I even waking up to? I thought this was a reputable site. All I see are a number of inaccurate statements and unproven assumptions, lol. I've never asked for any title or tried to lie my way there ever period. Which, of course, is not the truth, according to Forbes, which in itself is a hugely reputable business publication that has been in circulation for the last 104 years. Honestly, if I had to pick one side to believe, although I do like Kylie, I'd have to choose the side of Forbes because... Let's be real here, guys. The Kardashian Jenner clan have been known to be a little bit suspicious and a little bit dodgy on occasion. Kylie then went on to tweet in response to Forbes claims that she had provided fraudulent tax returns, even creating tax returns that were likely forged. That's your proof? So you just thought they were forged? Like, actually, what am I reading? Yeah, I feel very attacked! Relax. I shouldn't laugh, and I know she was just trying to defend herself, but ranting on Twitter is not the most mature way for a supposed billionaire businesswoman to respond. My question is this, if Forbes are the liars here and Kylie was in fact a billionaire, then why oh why haven't the Jenna Kardashian clan who tend to be quite sue happy sued Forbes for defamation? If what Forbes is claiming isn't true, why have they not taken them to court? Instead, all that happened is that Kylie ranted for a little while on Twitter and then it was all hush hush which makes me believe that Forbes is in fact correct and that Kylie and her team went to great lengths to try and convince Forbes that she was a billionaire when she wasn't. But why? Why would someone already incredibly rich want to make herself appear even richer? What is the point? What was Kylie or her people 
trying to prove. Please, guys, tell me your theories in the comments down below because I am genuinely intrigued by this drama and I'm also kind of shocked at the way Forbes just totally exposed her. And this is the kind of stuff that you rarely see on social media. Social media is all about showing off people's highlight reel and when celebrities and influencers do that over and over and over and don't really show any of the real life struggles, that's when you can really put them on a pedestal and think that their life is so much better than yours and that they are somehow and that they are somehow superior humans to you. But in truth of it, they're not. And honestly, these celebrities and influencers struggle with very human, very similar things to regular everyday people. Anyway, I just thought that might be an interesting little video. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. I love your guts, guys. And I'll see you for part two next week. Bye.